this creation that exists before this was pralay dissolution before that was creation before that was dissolution before that was creation it's a cycle srishti sthiti pralay creation maintenance annihilation creation maintenance annihilation bhutagramah sevayam bhutva bhutva praliyate the bhagavad gita says swami vivekananda said our ancestors do not believe in a creation because creation means making something out of nothing which is impossible even newton's laws of thermodynamics talk about the, the permanence of energy so it is the material energy is always there in god he unwinds it into the world and rewinds it back into himself again unwinds it again rewinds it the cycle of creation is going on so he explains that this age of kali is 432000 years twice this is the age of dwapar 864000 years three times that's 1296000 years is the age of treta four times 1728000 years is the age of sat together they make one chatur yug the maha yug which is 43 lakh 20000 years such chatur yugas if 71 such cycles go by that is one manvantar one manu's life span that is 31 crore 67 lakh 20000 years if 14 manvantars pass by that is one day of brahma it is called a kalp which is 4 arab 32 crore years that is the biggest unit of time or anywhere in the world unit of time biggest 4 billion 320 million years you see modern science tells us that this universe is 14 billion years and here we got a unit of time which is 4 billion 320 million years can you have a bigger unit of time than that that is one day of brahma equal to that is one night of brahma by the system of day and night brahma lives for 100 years which is 31 neel 12 kharab and 40 arab years our chaturmukhi brahma the four headed brahma of our universe there are other universes as well we only know of our universe that brahma is already 50 years old he has celebrated his golden jubilee of the 51st year this is the first day this is called the shwetvara kalp so he is going to tell us the stories of this kalp Now somebody may say, "Swami Ji, this is totally far-fetched." But I tell you, it is most astonishing. I did a little bit of reading, and in the time of the Greeks, the year was of 360 days. One month was 30 days, so the year was 360 days. now that kind of calendar was bound to go wrong totally in a few years so julius caesar he made a correction the great roman emperor he made it 365 and 1/4 of a day but that was also not fully accurate the error was so much that by the time of the 6th century at the time of pope gregory all the calendars had to be changed by 12 days and again in the 17th century a correction had to be made and i remember when i was a 5 year old all the clocks in the world had to be put back by a few seconds now in the vedic system there are two methods of calculation the saur siddhant and the chandra siddhant the solar calculations and the lunar calculation whatever way they calculate they don't make a mistake of even a second 